check check what's going on guys angela here welcome back to around the track this is where we talk about all the hot new things going on within the coast community today is august 25th i think i had that right oh no today's saturday august 24th 2024 it's currently 4 41 p.m i'm about to head in the park see what's going on I actually just saw the update like probably seven or eight hours ago. I haven't been to the park pretty much in a week because they're not doing daily operation anymore because they cut off daily operation uh, in this area pretty quickly, mainly because kids go back to school. So it kind of makes it a little bit hard for this park to be staffed correctly, which I'd rather them just be closed than be open and stuff be closed. I cannot wait to see this in person because they've actually completed the S turn and pretty much the roundabout is gonna look really, really cool. The ride is basically almost done. As you can see behind me, they don't really have much left. So <laughs> I'm very excited. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and ride some coaster, get some night rides. And as always, you see the fit. I got the uh, mint green on right now with my Adidas 40 craze. They actually don't sell these shoes anymore, but let's get inside the park. All right, y'all. So today I'm actually recording this audio on September 2nd, 2024 at 3.37 a.m. Yeah, I know. I've been really procrastinating these videos, mainly because the narration part is the part that actually takes the longest because then I have to sync my audio and video together. Walking up to the ride is just pure insane at this point. It really looks awesome in person and it actually just, it's literally like right over your head. I love the way it goes over the pathways in the park. It looks really cool in this area now. It's crazy how fast they've gotten this ride done. This week, the track will be complete. There was a storm that happened today, or really yesterday and the day before it rained a lot. I think they're gonna be halting at least a little bit because the ground is a little too wet to actually work on, but I'm pretty sure by Saturday, everything's gonna be done. The transition from that S turn into the uh, roundabout, it looks like it's gonna be really fun. I th it really does seem like this ride could have been longer and it definitely could have, but they just didn't decide to go that way, unfortunately. Taking a look over the fence here, as you can see, they had a little uh, crane and then I just kind of got some overhead shots. Uh, they were finishing that inversion. In fact, I think that inversion was just almost fully completed. They had like one other piece of track for it to be fully completed, but after that it was completed. After the launch here, you go into that little wave turn type of element and then after that you go into that first inversion supports are also not fully done yet so they do need to add uh the rest of the concrete which that they'll do that uh, a little bit later but right now they're giving it time for the supports to actually settle so if you are seeing little holes inside the footers that's the reason why they want to give it time to actually rest and then after that they're going to fill it fill the rest of it with uh concrete this is just another angle that you're seeing here i got this kind of wide angle shot like I said, it looks so awesome in person. I can't wait to be able to kind of walk back here. Hopefully it's a warm day next year when they actually open this ride because last time when Twisted Timbers opened, it was pretty chilly that day. This is the side of Flight of Fear and here is the inversion. Like I said, they pretty much did complete it, but for it to be really fully completed, they need like one more piece of track, but it's basically done. As you can see, that's gonna be a wicked element. And I think this is where they're actually gonna have a near miss over here. When you see the next video that I post, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, they have just like completed the ride pretty much. There's only like one inversion that they have left to do, and then the ride will be complete. That building right there or that shed, extended shed, I think that's the electrical building for the launch, which would make sense because it's literally right by the launch because the station is actually going to be further down that way. Uh, that you're seeing there. That's pretty much all that I have for this update as I really didn't have much else to show up besides them completing the uh, turnaround, which like I said, that turnaround was really important that they got that done. Uh, when you see the next video, like I said, I'll have a lot more to talk about because they did get a lot of stuff done on the next video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Until next time, peace out. <laughs>